Hi, welcome to Messy Missy Creates. This is Melissa. I have craft haul. Um, I went to a thrift store today and um, I got a lot of fun stuff. I don't usually find a lot of crafting stuff, but I did this time. Um, a little too much stuff. Let me move on all out of the way. Let me show you this wonderful container to begin with. It's dirty, but um, it is real close to your face. I'm sorry, but it is almost the same basket that I put all of these in. It almost fits them. I think I could get away with it. It definitely would hold sticker books. So um, I have two that I bought at Office Depot for like eight or nine dollars and um, this one was 99 cent. So I thought, well, even if these don't fit in them, I know that the, the sticker books will very easily all of these books so that was awesome um i was really happy to find that let me put that up since i knocked everything down um anyway so as i put i just kind of carried everything in the basket um as i show you what i got i can put it back in the basket but i also got a couple other bins and i'll show them to you um this was or is I love the feel of it. It kind of has that, I don't know, it's real soft. Um, it's a 2024 August through December. Wait, no, it's August of last year through December of this year planner. Now, the colors are not necessarily my favorite. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything against them, but a little darker than I would typically want. But now I would have the choice of using it from here on out but I doubt I would. This has a really cool pocket and I could always use the pages. Um, these are great, you know, add-ins for your journal or whatever. It's a good size. It's, um, let's see if I can find a ruler. It is seven and a half by nine and almost three quarters. So, um, anyway, the great size, but I love the fact, and it's, you know, just the right stiffness. And it has the elastic that closes it. Really thought that one day this will make a great glue book. And that's kind of what I'm thinking. But I might use some of the pages in the meantime. So I'm going to set that to the side. Um, these are just real simple. The graph composition notebooks. They are, I mean, they were new. Nothing's been written in them. I do see that these run. So, you know, some of the ink runs on these. I noticed when I was dyeing my graph paper from the ones I got at Walmart, and the, I bet that's where these came from. But anyway, I haven't been finding the graph paper ones um, on sale, like at school starting time or anything like that. And I haven't even been finding them at Dollar Tree, but even if you found them at Dollar Tree, they're a dollar and a quarter. So I, all of a sudden I didn't mind paying 99 cent for, for that. Um, Cause the last couple of years I've looked and they're not, they're getting hard to find, at least for me. Now, this is a Crafter's Companion. I got it for 99 cent. It's a border die. It has this pretty flower shaped. I can't demo, for, demo it for you right this second because I don't have room for my die cutter. But it makes this border die. And I got it, there was a couple of my left behind um, because they were too small. This one is five inches by two inches. So this would work. I make a lot of five by seven cards, but it also would be a good size for a tag or whatever. So I got that. It was also 99 cent. These are, um, these are so cool. These are business cards. I know you've seen them before. They're business, well, now they're in another piece of plastic. They're business card pockets. They have adhesive strips already on them. Here we go. They have adhesive, adhesive strips already on them. So you can slide well, we'll use this sticker. You can slide a little, like their business card size. So you can make a little mini pocket out of it. And anyway, I thought well, they've already got the double-sided tape on them. They're ready to go. Clear pockets, I mean, yes. So I got those. Let's see, I'll put them back up in a minute. I won't take your time doing that. I found an embossing folder. This is, they had several of these. This is the Downton Abbey um, Crafter's Companion. 
and um, I got it because it's a good fall leaf um, embossing folder and it's also five by seven size. So um, new still in the package. I got some card making supplies. Well, that's card making supplies. I got, these are, um, it's 15 sets, top folded cards, which I don't usually make these smaller, especially top folding cards, but they would make great tags in a journal too. So I thought, well, for 99 cents, I can't go wrong. And this I will use for card making. This was $1.99, but it's um, 50 sets, and I was just about to run out. Um, they're five by seven card bases plus envelopes for $1.99. Um, now they've been retaped, so they might have used some of them, but there's still a lot in there. So I was very tickled to find those because they're not cheap. Well, I mean, if, if I bought them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I think they're probably 10 or $15. Okay, this was all in a set and I already took it out one time just to see what all was in here. This was a... Again, it was 99 cents. It even has an ephemera um, art pieces CD. So I thought I'd plug that into my laptop and see what um, it says. Full size artwork, just print and enjoy. 5,000 ephemera pieces. So I thought that would be fun. Plus it has, it came with these um, two uh, heritage and family stickers. Now this one, you know, you can kind of see that they're cut out. Um, keys, a fleur de -lis, um, some flourishes and some words, treasures of, treasures of yesterday, a family story, um, some fingers that point this way or that way, several locks, clocks, um, kind of like a cogwheel, isn't that what you call that? Um, you know, kind of industrial, yet not all of it. Um, that's in a dark chocolate brown. This is black stickers, and it's like a family sticker, like flam family tree. And, I mean, it just came in the pack. And it's, you know, moments, and home is, where the, home is where your story begins. I love that. And then some other random stick. Oh, here they are. There's together, home, family, mom, dad, houses, cars, trees, some different shapes things like that. I thought that was cool. Again, all of this was in one kit for 99 cents. So I'm like, yes, please. I didn't open it in the store and look at it. I just took it on good faith. But I also, for 99 cents, I could see this and I knew that that would probably be worth it. Um, I can't wait to look at that. And then it has this um, scrapbook. It says scrapbook spinner. Now, I was not a scrapbooker. Some of you who are or were will know what this is. I do not. It says add hidden photos or journaling spots to any page. Just turn the wheel to reveal the surprise in the window. Oh, I guess you can make the wheel the center hole. I don't know. I figured I could use some of these little, like the star in the heart. And the. Um, this is like a, it says journaling window. Oh, like a little tab. And I don't know. It was just included, right? It's got some cute little borders that you can trace. And a notch, a page notch. So, that was a neat little bonus. And then there is this, which is, it says, and includes 27 tags and heritage backgrounds. So, some of you may already know what this is. I, however, do not. Um, well, here's, and I'm assuming they're all stickers. Maybe they're not. You just got to cut them. Cut them apart. Cut apart, maybe. But tags, labels, things like that. I thought that would be fun to use. Not in my favorite colors. They're a little, like I said, a little darker than what I would normally go for. But this is really pretty blue. It says family tree on this side with the tree right here. I do not scrapbook, but um, here's some, I almost said plaid, but I think it's something else. Um, not herringbone, um, I don't, you know what it is. And some pinstripes with like zigzag. And some polka dots. And some lighter color stripes, pinstripes. And some florals. 
and this is really cool. This is just like collaged um, ephemera, you know, ledger paper and checks and tax statements and things like that. So that was really cool. Green, it's got cute little buttons. I mean, they're not real, but they're not 3D. They're just in the paper. And then some more of that. And this little bit of music paper. I don't know if you're able to pick it up very well, but here's some more music paper. And some other just green with script. And that was that. So all of that came in one, in one set for 99 cents. Now, here are the other bins that I got. This one is similar to the ones that I've been keeping my journal stuff in there. It's not exactly, so it's not going to stack exactly. Um, and it's a little shallower, but you know, it's, it's always, it's a good size. Um, doesn't quite hold a 12 by 12, but it will hold, it'll be a good project basket. Like right now I'm working on the junk journal July. Um, it would be nice to have that journal and the next pr set of prompts that I'm pulling for the next page, you know, and have a project basket. So I thought that was cool. These were cool. These are like little, they're very hard plastic. These were not Dollar Tree. They're very hard plastic and they're fun colors. Did I need them? No, not necessarily, but they're pretty cool. So for example, I can put this and this and this in there. And yeah, something to hold something. Isn't that amazing? And they stack. So just what the doctor ordered, right? And I have, oh, this is one more bin, which was not a good deal by the way, but I went ahead and got it. Um, because I have some others like it and they'll stack together. And I was just talking about going to Dollar Tree and getting some more. So now I don't have to. Um, I got two punches. I'm pretty sure that I may have. I'm not sure. And I, I went ahead and just got them and took a chance. They're close to my heart brand. And one is a scallop. One is a circle. Which, I mean, you know what a scallop looks like. It's a two inch scallop. Well, still punched pretty well. And this is a one and a quarter. I don't think I have one and a quarter. And I think I wanted one for something one time and I couldn't remember what it was. But they'll layer up. I should have done different color cardstock. But can you see that they'll layer on top of each other? That would be pretty cool. They had a square one that was a punch you had to push down. I don't do those kind. I have bad hands. And they're not hand friendly. They're not arthritis friendly. So I thought those were a good deal. Um, not bad. I mean, was I looking for some more punches specifically? No, not necessarily. But um, as a matter of fact, none of what I got, I was, I went in. I mean, you know, you go into the thrift store for whatever you find. You don't, you know, sometimes you have something in mind. Okay. Then I got this little mini alphabet punch board. Now, I went on good faith that they had it all in there because it was sealed. And it looks to be, no, it looks to me that you can, um, well, you do have to trim the paper to the right size. And then, I don't know, I'm not going to demo this right this second, but see, you punch the A and the B and the, and then you round the corners and then, you know, so on and so forth. That has the little, it, I thought, why is that a D? But it's not, it's a punch that looks like a D. It punches out that little hole and those little holes. And then let's see, how do we do C? Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna read the direction, directions and play around with it. And you do something in here, you use this little cutter thingy and you put it in here and you do the things to it and you know, and then you're supposed to make an alphabet. I was just talking about the, yesterday that I needed um, some more like dyes or something that like alpha dyes or something like that. I have a couple of them, but they're small. So I think this will make a more usable size and it's not that small. I mean, it's not that big. 
And so I have a whole drawer full of, this is the We Are um, brand, or we, it used to be We Are Memories Keepers. I think this was either five, I think it was five. The tag fell off of it, but it wasn't too bad. Now, for the other stuff. Okay, books. Surprise, surprise. So, um, I didn't need any more books, y'all. I really didn't. But, I love these. These are from the 50s. I have a couple of them, and so anytime I can collect um, a set, I try. Um, now, the images are not fantastic in here as far as, like, cutting them out and using them in a journal or, you know, they're, I mean, some of them are, you know. You could use some of them, but, um, there's the three little pigs. Anyway, um, uh-oh, that one's kind of violent. So, but I love this style book and this size. And like I said, I have a couple of these that I paid a whole lot more for. This one thrift store, their books are, I want to say they were like nine, were they 99 cent? I think. Anyway, this is an old Grimm's fairy tale. I loved the feel of it. So, I've gotten picky about what books I get. I mean, I know better what I like than what I used to. And the, the bind, is, it, the, I'm not sure I would keep that spine anyway. I would make a junk journal out of this. And um, why half of it's upside down, I do not know. But it is. So, you know, it's just all of the, the some of the illustrations are pretty good. I want to say this is from the 50s as well. I don't know. Um, it had a cute little, a couple of cute, yeah, copyright 1955. And then I guess you, I don't know if this was accidental or if this was on purpose. Um, this has copyright 1935 by Random House. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is like a bonus book. Okay, I gotcha. I did not know this. Anyway, it's got some cute, um, cute images in it. But more than anything, I wanted the book and, you know, it's the perfect size. It's what I like and it feels good in my hand. So, um, and it's sewn in. I was going to measure it, but because I can almost guess what it is. It's going to be close to seven by close to 10 or seven by nine. I think it's six and a half by nine. Okay. So this is the exact size of my journals each month. So next year when I start using books again, or if I make a junk journal between now and then, um, that would be a good journal size. So, and then Childcraft, I don't have this particular set. So I'm not gonna collect this. I'm not gonna start a collection on this, but this one has some really cute, cute images in it. Some really colorful, images. So I definitely would use these pages for, you know, my journal and, um, maybe some glue book stuff. Let's do it like I like to do it. And that's from the back. Some music pages. It's got some regular photos as well as illustrations. Huh. <laughs> that's cute. Little boy watching, sitting backwards in the chair. Um, cute merry-go-round, cute train boat that was super cute this one was really cute i thought that would be cute for a, like a collage or glue book um there was once a puffin it says some frogs anyway really cute and that's a cute little picture so just some cute um i mean that'd be great background pretty lighthouse so oh look at the cat with the blue eyes that would be cool to use in a glue book so anyway, oh, and here's Santa taking a tumble, apparently. Little girl scream. oh, she's not screaming like upset screaming. She's just yelling, like happy yelling, I guess. But that's a neat picture. So anyway, these I definitely would use for the, the images as well as then use it for, 
you know, maybe a journal or something like that. It, I'm not like over the moon madly in love with this cover or anything like that. But, so I get them for a couple different reasons. One, I either get them for the images or I get them for, well, you know why I got this one. Because it's full of color. Got some great, um, I was thinking for my Rainbow Glue book. Look at these pictures. Some really cute rainbows. And look, look at the bright yellow. And look at this. How cute. So see, I could use these color, the words in my, I have not, I haven't touched my color blue book in a long time. And I probably will go back to, I've been thinking about it a lot. It's been in my thought process. So anyway, here's purple, although that looks more blue than purple. And then this little girl was too cute with the pink. But anyway, so then it goes through some of the neutral colors and then the rainbow of colors. So I thought, yeah, tan and white and brown and more rainbows. So, and then this one is, um, I thought, I'm not buying any more Christmas books. I have a whole shelf of Christmas books. Now I have weeded out some of them. But this one was cool. I love the size. And I'm going to tell you what that size is in just a second. It is almost eight by ten and a little over ten and a half. So perfect junk journal size for me, I think. And it has some of the cutest little pictures. Look at that. How precious is that? And the page, look at the music. I love even the music page. But some of these, I, I'm thinking I'm going to make a Christmas junk journal as well as not for my monthly journal, but an actual junk journal. And I would start it probably in like November. And yeah. But it had some of the cutest, the sweetest little pictures in it. And, you know, obviously some of the pages I would put right back in, you know. And, yeah, I'd like a Christmas junk journal. Um, one to keep, like, the receipts and recipes and look how sweet. This is the one that I fell in love with. This little picture right here. Isn't that just too sweet of a picture? So, and I love the little row of houses. That would make an excellent pocket. So, anyway. But I thought all the little pictures were so sweet. Look at the little angel. And, anyway. So, I went ahead and got it. I think I will shed a couple of the other books that I have. Pretty sure this is sewn in. Yeah, it's definitely not good. Um, it might be glued and sewn in. Because I can see the stitches right here. But it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to tell if they're glued to. Like some pages might be glued. Some not. So maybe the page. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyway. I would probably make the spine thicker. On that. If it's a junk journal. But I love the feel of it. I love the size of it. So you know. You know. You know. I got one more thing, well, two more things, but one more thing. And this, I thought, was, I don't know, maybe it was expensive, or a little, it was a little more than I would have liked for it to have been, but I have a feeling it was well worth it. Look at these. They were $4.99 each, but another lady had them in her buggy, and when I was buying, looking at all the craft stuff, she was bringing them back. She said she had picked them up for her sister originally and called her and asked her, and she said she didn't want them. But she said they're all the different embroidery floss colors. They're all on the little spools. And they're, she said they're all numbered. And here's the chart. Isn't that amazing? So I thought, you know, I was thinking about buying some more embroidery thread. And I... 
I looked to make sure there was a good bit on each one of the, that one looks like a multicolored one, but there's two things of them. So I'm assuming they're both different. Yeah. But look at this. And they seriously are all numbered. So this one is... Um, I'm assuming these are the JP Coats. 221. No. Shaded bright green. That is not it. These must be DMC. 221. Let me see what DMC 221 is. Shell pink, medium, dark. It could be, but I don't know. Anyway, there's a couple of them. Let's see what 211 is. Um, that's not on there. 211 is lavender light. So, okay, so these must be DM, all DMC. The, but I thought this itself was pretty cool. The Embroidered Floss Color Conversion Chart. So, I thought that was pretty nifty. And look, they're all so organized. I don't even have to do it. They're all, they just come that way. Isn't that amazing? So, do you think that was a steal at $5 a piece? I haven't sat down and figured out how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, well, that one's not fair because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, so that would be 60, 60 rolls in each, or spools in each. And I don't know if there's a whole spool on each one, or a whole, what do you call those? Anyway, I just thought this would last me for a very, very, very long time. So, um, then I got up to the register, and the lady checking me out, she said, Oh, do you embroider, or do you um, cross-stitch? And I said, No. I mean, I used to back in the 90s like I think everybody else did. Um, this one's almost out. But I can go buy it and then wrap it back up on the thing. But anyway, so 60, 60, that's 120. Anyway, I told her no, but I, I make journals and I bind books. She said, really? She said, my daughter does that too. And I was like, oh, it's such a small world. So um, anyway, um, what do you think of, what do you think of my, my stuff here? Um, I was just happy to find crafts, and I actually left some stuff there. Um, they had some other dies. They had a couple other punches, but they weren't, like I said, the ones that I can use easily with my hand. And what else? I don't think I had any scallop punches. And I was just thinking the other day, you know, maybe I should get a scallop punch. So here I got a scallop punch. And I like the way that those two are going to stack in each other. And yeah. So tell me what you think, and I appreciate you watching, and um, I can't wait to start using this stuff, right? Now these I probably won't use right away because I'm, I'm collecting like that one, but this one I would probably use sooner rather than later. This one, definitely. I am feeling the junk journal itch, so I will probably be starting that very, very soon. So I need to pick my journal, and I mean, maybe it's this one. I don't know. Anyway, I love the bright colors, and I can find some fun retro fabric to go on the spine, and uh, it'll be really, really cute. All right, hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.